Welcome to a second example on how to determine the Laplace transform of a step function given here by the function f of t. In this example, we'll take a look at a different technique for writing f of t in terms of the heavy side step function or unit step function shown here. But let's first look at the graph of f of t. f of t equals negative two when t is less than three, which would be this piece of the graph. f of t equals five when t is greater than or equal to three and less than six, which is this piece. And finally, f of t equals nine when t is greater than or equal to six, which would be this piece. So again, to find the Laplace transform of f of t, which would be big Y of s, we first want to write f of t in terms of the unit step function given by u sub c of t or u of the quantity t minus c which equals zero if t is less than c and equals one if t is greater than or equal to six. So to do this, we'll begin with our function f of t and notice how the first function value is negative two. So we'll let f of t be equal to negative two. Now instead of multiplying this by a difference, it'll give us one over this interval, otherwise the difference would be zero. Let's just leave this as negative two and then we'll build from here because the remaining function values are constants. Notice how to go from negative two to positive five, we'd have to add seven. So we want to add seven to this function value as soon as t reaches the value of positive three. So we can say plus seven times u sub three of t. Again, u sub three of t is equal to one when t is greater than or equal to three and zero when t is less than three. So when t is less than three, this would be negative two plus seven times zero. And then as soon as t equals three, we'd have negative two plus seven times one, which will give us a function value of five. But then notice, as soon as t equals six, we want the function value to be nine, not five. To go from the function value of five to nine, notice how we have to increase the function value by four. To do this, we can say plus four times we want to turn plus four on when t is greater than or equal to six, so we'll have plus four times u sub six of t. Now we have f of t written in terms of the unit step function u sub c of t. When t is less than three, the function value would be negative two plus seven times zero plus four times zero. When t is greater than or equal to three and less than six, We'd have negative two plus seven times one, which would be five, plus four times zero, which is five. And finally, when t is greater than or equal to six, we'd have negative two plus seven times one, plus four times one, which gives us a function value of nine. Now we'll determine the Laplace transform of f of t in this form. So we'll take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. So we'd have the Laplace transform of f of t equals the Laplace transform of negative two plus seven times u sub three of t plus four times u sub six of t. Well, the Laplace transform of little f of t equals big F of s. And let's write the right side as the Laplace transform of negative two plus seven times the Laplace transform of u sub three of t plus four times the Laplace transform of u sub six of t. So we have big F of s equals, well we should recognize the Laplace transform of negative two is equal to negative two times one over s, or just negative two over s, and then plus seven times the Laplace transform of u sub three of t Using our formula here where c equals three, we'd have e to the negative three s divided by s. So seven times e to the negative three s divided by s plus four times the Laplace transform of u sub six of t. So we'd have four times e to the negative six s divided by s. Notice how we do have a common denominator of s here. So let's write big F of s as big F of s equals, the denominator would be s, the numerator would be negative two plus seven times e to the negative three s plus four times e to the negative six s. 
So when we have a piecewise defined function and all the function values are constants, writing f of t in terms of the unit step function this way is actually faster and a little less work, but the alternative method I showed works for any piecewise defined function regardless of how complicated the function values get. I hope you found this helpful.